Browsers track a variety of information about your online activities. Let me give you some examples. So I have bookmarks here. I have a history uh, of pages that I've gone to. Um, I have cookies that, um, that are stored on here. So if I go to my preferences, I can uh, see that you know there are a whole bunch. There's a whole bunch of information that um, that the sites have stored on my computer. All of these. Let's look at all cookies and say, ah, wait. Come back, come back. Anyway, there's a, there's a bunch of cookies here. Um, you can see hundreds and 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 like a, actually a kind of like a shocking number of cookies, okay? So this is all information about me that the browser is storing. And you know, maybe I don't want people to find out certain things about my browsing activity. So if somebody came and used my computer and they started to type something into the browser search bar, maybe it would complete a website that I didn't want them to know I visited. Maybe there's certain cases where I just want to make sure that my browsing activity doesn't leave any trace of what's been happening. Um, and so a lot of browsers, including Chrome, have something that's called uh, private browsing mode or, or incognito mode as, as Chrome explains it. So you've probably done this before. Um, when you go incognito, it says, Pages you view in incognito tabs won't stick around in your browser's history, so the browser won't remember that I went there. The cookie store, same thing. I can store cookies in the incognito tab, but as soon as it's closed, those cookies are deleted. Search history, same thing. So if I, um, if I look through my search history in, in Chrome, once the incognito tabs are closed, those things will go away. Now, if I create bookmarks or any files I downloaded, those are, are going to stick around. A file I download is going to be somewhere on my computer. Um, now, Chrome is nice about this. It warns you. Um, going incognito doesn't hide your browser browsing from your employer, your internet service provider, or the websites you visit, uh, or you know the government or anyone who, who controls large parts of the internet. So there are, there are big limitations to incognito mode. Um, however, it can still be useful. So one of the so here are some fun things that you can do in incognito mode. Um, one thing you can do, and I, I found this really shocking, is that you can discover what a horrifying place the internet is when you don't have an ad blocker installed. So there's all these websites that get like really slow and broken. Like oh my gosh, look at there's just so many ads on this website. I never see these ads because I'm an ad blocker. Maybe that makes me a bad human being. Um, but if you go in incognito, your some of these extensions get turned off and so you can see the internet in its full uh, terrible glory with all of the crazy ads and extensions and all that stuff that you might be filtering or blocking. Um, incognito mode is also a great way to tell if certain things work. So um, for example certain links like let's say you've created a link to a YouTube video and you want to make sure that that video is publicly viewable. Um, so you know, let's see here. Um, we use this a lot to test the links that we, we send out uh, for, for class purposes. So I, I copy this link address and then I open an incognito window and you can see that this particular link, I don't remember what this is, um, oh this, for, this is for an activity we're working on, some brainstorming information. This link is not available to people that are not signed in. So if I open this in my own browser I see one thing, that's because I'm signed into Google. If I open an incognito browser Google asks me to sign and in this case this is good. It allows me to test and make sure that the link sharing has been set up properly. Um, so I think that mode has some funny uses to it, um, but you know it's also something that you can use if in certain cases you want to conceal a certain bit of browser activity uh, from other people that might be using your computer, uh, make sure that it doesn't pollute your search history or leave any trace on your computer. But keep in mind, you still have to trust your ISP, trust your employer, um, trust the websites that you visit, and be aware of the fact that your traffic is still visible on the public internet. Uh, so incognito mode is not really a strong privacy tool. It's kind of a convenience feature that's built into browsers, uh, but it's certainly not a way to protect your browsing activity from uh, observation.